Hey everyone, we all know blockchain is one of the major tech stories of the past decade. Everyone seems to be talking about it, but beneath the surface chatter, there's not always clear understanding of what blockchain is. So in this video, we are going to know what is blockchain and how you can actually create your own blockchain to understand the fundamentals and the working of blockchain. Hey everyone, welcome to this new video of Simply Learn on how to create your own blockchain. Before moving ahead, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such interesting videos and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Also, if you're interested to learn more about blockchain, then you can check out our blockchain course and actually learn and gather information with our live classes and hands-on projects that will help you build your base and reach higher levels in your career. Moving on, let's see what is blockchain. Well, blockchain allows for the permanent, immutable and transparent recording of data and transaction. This in turn makes it possible to exchange anything that has value, whether it is a physical item or something less tangible. Blockchain is a technology that enables the sharing of information. Data obviously is stored in a database. Transactions are recorded in an account book called a ledger. Now a blockchain is a type of distributed database or ledger one of the today's top trends, which means that the power to update a blockchain is di distributed between the nodes or participants of that network. But this raises a question that how one can actually create their own blockchain if you need a network for it. Well, let me tell you a basic structure of blockchain. Now the blockchain looks like this. There is a block where multiple transactions are stored in one go, which is known as data. But the block itself has its own identity as an id a hash number and a previous hash number that actually represents the hash number of its previous block now the first block in a chain is known as genesis block after that whatever blocks get added to it presumes the hash number of its previous block as a previous hash number and then creates its own hash number and that's how mining works so in this video we are going to create the exact replica of this blockchain so let's quickly jump to the code i'm using pycharm as my online compiler to compile my code and get the output but you can use any online or offline compiler according to your desirable coding language that you prefer i am using python to code over here so first we have to create our project uh, i'm giving my project name my blockchain and then you have to actually click on the create and your project will be created uh, my project is already created that's why i was not getting the create option so let's start coding so first we will create a block and uh, we have to declare a class and uh, name it block now we have to define init function We will also declare a hash and data because that's what what is stored in the block. Previous hash number. And we have to input the data. Self dot data is equals to data that's how we have to declare every parameter that we have declared in our init function and that's how our block will be created now that we know how to create a block now we have to create a blockchain and for that we have to generate our hash because without that uh, we will not be able to create a blockchain because every interlink block actually covers the hash number of its previous block so now we have to create a hash generator now we have to declare hash generator library that will help us generate uh, the hash number and uh, as we know blockchain by default uses sh 256 algorithm so uh, that's 
that's why we will pass our data so what it will do it will convert whatever data we have fed it uh, into a hexadecimal format so now that we have declared our hash data library and sh 256 to actually decode our data into a hexadecimal form because as we know our hash number will be generated in that format so we are converting it into a hexadecimal format so now we will create our own blockchain so we'll create our own class with name blockchain So as we know, the first block of the blockchain is Genesis block. So for that, we have to input hash last number. That will be the previous hash number of the block. Again, we will use hash generator here. So by default, we will declare our previous hash number in our Genesis block by zero because this is the first block and it doesn't have any previous block to carry on the previous hash number in its own ID. Now why we are using hash generator to get the hexadecimal format of the hash number. So now we will get the hash number of last gen. And this is to generate the hash number of that particular block, our Genesis block. One more thing, every block has its unique hash. So you can see that even though it has hundreds of thousands of blocks attached to it, it any hash number won't be repeated. Every hash number is unique. And that is to maintain the privacy of the blockchain so that if anybody tries to uh, impact it, via an ulterior motive they won't be able to do so now when we will be attaching another block to this blockchain we will need the hash number of the genesis block because that will be the previous hash number for the second block attached to it So now our Genesis block is created. Now we will create a chain for our Genesis block. Here we are creating the chain for our Genesis block. So now our chain part is created. Now that we have to add every block, we will create another uh, function under this class. So here now we have the previous, we need the previous hash number of the Genesis block the chain function to actually retrieve the previous hash number of our Genesis block and interlink both the blocks together. So technically it's like an array where uh, we have our Genesis block already stored. So whatever data will be added at the last, its hash number will be, so whatever uh, 
data will be stored at the last its hash number will be retrieved by the first block now we have to generate it, this particular blocks hash we are passing whatever data we are getting also the last hash that we have retrieved So now whatever data we are passing we want to make it unique so whatever data we have passed through the block that will be added by the last hash number like if you are adding the second block the last hash number of the genesis block will be added to it and then we will send it to the hash generator so that it will retrieve that uh, final data and create a hexadecimal number So one more thing, we could have uh, just passed data or we could have just passed previous hash number also through it. We, it was not needed to add it, but we are doing it to make the data unique. So whatever data is actually passed through it and if we add it with the hexadecimal, we also eliminate the slightest chance of making the hash numbers similar. So here again, we are passing in data hash and previous hash. So like this, we have added one more block to our blockchain. So for now, we have covered Genesis block and another block that we wanted to create to the Genesis block with its previous hash number. And then we will attach it to the chain. So now whatever class we have created, we are going to use that. Here we are going to use our blockchain object in this variable. And through this we will pass our final data. We will simply use this object to add every block uh, using the block class that we have created. So I'm using this object uh, to add the first block with the ID A. So now we have created our first block with the ID A and like this I will create two more blocks with ID B and C. So copying it. Pasting to create two other blocks with ID B and C. blocks are created now we have to chain them so whatever block we have created we are going to convert 
them into a format of dictionary. So whatever blocks we have created, we are appending it to the chain that we created previously. So this was our code for creating a blockchain. So now it's created. Now we have to run this code. So now you can see it has generated uh, three blocks. Block A, Block B, Block C. Now this is our blockchain. You can see it has its own hash number and previous hash number. So we can see data, gen data and hash and previous hash. This is the overall of the blockchain. Now, if we see clearly, you can see that the previous hash is similar to the hash number of the previous block. So here you can see the previous hash of A is by default. Now previous hash of B is the hash number of C and the previous hash of C is the hash number of B. So now we have got our hash number and previous hash number. So this proves that we have created a blockchain successfully. So this was just a small demonstration, but this gives you an idea that how actually blockchain is created, how transactions are stored in it in a huge level and how it actually maintains its privacy. So if you like this video, then please do share it with your friends and family. This was the code and you can use it to add more blocks to it. And if you have any questions related to this code or to this video, you can feel free to ask away in a comment section and our team will reach out to you as soon as possible. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update for more such interesting videos. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.